Given the fact the way that ChatGPT works, you guys want to, of course, ask a response and hopefully gives you a response back and hopefully it's accurate and just create some cool stuff. But can we use this for Photoshop? I'm not honestly sure. However, we're going to basically test this with like three different kind of ways. The first way we're going to actually allow ChatGPT to basically create its own little sequence with no other input at all. Second, we're going to give some different kind of tools from Photoshop itself to hopefully help the actual AI. And then lastly, we're basically giving this really cool sequence of effects that I kind of have online and hopefully it can create a stronger prompt and even a hopefully stronger, more visual play using text effects. However, though, I got no idea it's going to work, so let's just give it a shot. <laughs>so let's go ahead and start off first by asking chat gpt if it actually can create effects with no other prompts so this is my prompt okay experiment and create a text effect in photoshop using layer style options blur multiple layers making sure that they're technical and have advanced sequence of steps to complete please do not tell me to experiment do it for me and give me specific settings to use and do not use the layer style options don't use basic tools basically just telling this thing give me what i need and then we're gonna see what happens so honestly i'm not entirely sure what this is creating or even if it's even like logistically possible to create something cool without actually like messing up or or having some steps in between but let's just give it a shot so first it tells us to use the font Arial, and we can just write advanced text effect but for me i'm gonna put just adv and i'm gonna put eff right we're gonna make it look stylish in some way right so Arial. then with the duplicate layer select to go to layer layer styles okay blending options and then we're gonna drag the black slider from the underlying layer until its value is at 200 so right around here create a layer above the duplicate layer and fill it with a solid color i'll use blue so we're gonna take a duplicate of this layer then we're gonna change this to blue we're gonna make a nice little blue here we're not actually getting anywhere we're just kind of just throwing up uh, things at us which is pretty much expected in my opinion go to filter blur gaussian blur this set the pixels to 15 and it says this will create a blurry halo around the text okay eh, we're getting a little somewhere okay now we're gonna create a new layer above the solid color layer and use the brush tool to add some white strokes around the text with the brush layer selected go to layer layer styles outer glow and this will create a glowing effect around the brush strokes did it actually do that i don't actually think it did anything oh it did like a very very small amount it says to create a new layer above the brush layer and use the gradient tool to add a gradient that fades from transparent or black to transparent what this is looking very very like just like what i would do when i was a complete beginner to be honest i'm even gonna go in here for a second as well and lower the scale down that way i actually get that black to like that transparency that they're probably looking for then it says with the gradient layer selected go to layer layer styles gradient overlay okay this will add a dark shadow effect to the text which i honestly don't really i don't know if they actually want me to do like black to white i'm gonna keep it to black to white because that's kind of what they said before and we're gonna add some some bevelin end boss and then drop shadows gonna add a little bit of drop shadow just like so nothing too crazy and ta-da! Realistically, was I expecting something incredibly, like, fascinating? Probably not, but at the same time, it's pretty cool that I can kind of see that it's like almost as ChatGPT doesn't really know about Photoshop quite yet with its knowledge. So I wonder with actually taking some of these ideas of, like, using, like, a gradient overlay or bl motion blurs or blurs, etc., like, whatever, giving them an actual kind of formula, like, a, almost like a tutorial, but not giving them the actual answers to the tutorial, can it create something even special? I don't know. Let's try it out. So this time around, I actually use the same exact prompt but this time i added use multiple blur effects that work well together filter gallery effects and various effects from other text effects to make it original and this is what we got let's see it okay so to start off this effect this is actually telling us to go to our layer styles and go ahead and choose outer glow and make sure the blend mode is on linear dodge add so linear dodge add set the color to a neon shade of electric blue or a hot pink Ooh, choices electric blue is like like this or a hot pink Maybe a hot pink is what I'm gonna go for. Select the color overlay box, set the blend mode to overlay, and then select a pale tone color like a light pink or a pale pink. So let's go with light blue, palish kind of tone like this. I'm actually gonna just take the background and make it black. I didn't say to, but for us to actually see the effect, we need to make it black in this case. And then for my opinion, at least we got something going on here, okay? We can actually go ahead and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, so the radius of 15%. Now we're gonna go to filter, artistic, and plastic wrap. Okay, where are we going? Artistic, plastic wrap. Strength is at 50? Can it even go that high? It can. And then the uh, detail of 10%? Oh, wait, oh, high as it goes 20. I'm gonna just say the, the smoothness, maybe like 
Something like this. Okay, now we're gonna go to filter other high pass and then set the blending mode of the high pass layer to overlay. Can you even do that? Is this new or is this the first time I've ever noticed these little dots here to change this to overlay? Are you kidding me? Scoot this up a little bit because we can, right? Like, look at that. That's a text effect. We can call that a legitimate text effect. And if we're gonna go pair this to the other one, I think it's better. I'm actually a little bit curious. I just added some little stuff to it, but can we add, can we, uh, Add two more steps to make it better. So besides actually using our lights, this says to create a layer above the text layer and use the brush tool to paint a gradient over the text. To, ooh, this, excuse me? I mean, that's kind of sick, no? So next we're gonna create another layer above the text layer and use the brush tool to paint some splatters or drips over the text. So kind of like what I did, but this time it says use a linear dodge add, I'm gonna use multiply. Like, I'm not sure where exactly I would use this effect, if I'm being completely honest, but the fact that this is something I probably would have never created with the idea of like AI not helping me in this case, like high pass on overlay, didn't even know that was a freaking thing. I'm actually happy with that. All right, let's try another one. All right, so for this last effect, you kind of see on this left-hand side, this took me way too long, but we finally got it. I want to basically give it a sequence that I know for sure is going to create a really dope effect. So create a completely original sequence of steps to create a new text effect in Photoshop using information, but different below. And that's where I apply, apply this stuff. However, ChatGPT being what it is, kind of just revisited and just kind of like rewrote it in like a cleaner, neater way. That's not what I was looking for. So then I said, make, a, uh, make it original using tactical and advanced sequences of different Photoshop effects and then I landed here which we kind of have this warp transportation you know warp uh, text function uh, warp text function we have some smart object stuff here forward wrap tool to kind of like mess it around gradient maps field blurs this gotta be kind of cool right so let's just give it a shot this is the first one I feel like that is even like remotely close to cool we'll see okay so to start this off we want to basically use the, the pen tool create a custom shape for text below excuse me so we're gonna go ahead and say we're gonna skip that, but we of course go to type warp text and bend the text along a custom shape. Okay, so the only thing in warp text style I think you should ever use is an arch lower. Anything else is a little bit troll in my opinion. Maybe bulge is pretty decent. Maybe I use bulge, uh, you know, for, for this instance. Then we're gonna go to filter, liquefy, and forward wrap tool. Okay, so we're gonna filter, do a, not too much. I don't wanna go crazy, right? I wanna kinda just give it a little something. Create a gradient map adjustment layer. Layer, new adjustments, gradient map. So Boom. Gradient maps only kind of adjust and use layers or colors, excuse me, from like, you know, the left and right being the highlights and shadows. So maybe instead of using gradient map for this instance, okay, we're going to use gradient overlay. Okay. Maybe they just don't know the difference. I understand. Okay. So now we're done with that. We're going to go to filter blur, filter blur gallery. Sorry. So field blur. Okay. I feel like we added just three little simple blurs and now we're pretty much good to go. Okay. So now I'm going to press okay. So now we're going to create a pattern overlay layer. We're going to use some, something like this. We're going to use the pattern pack, of course, self and so HQ if you ever want to, to get a, to get a look at it. However, However, though, it's not gonna work that way. We're gonna have to make a new layer, fill, boom, then use the filter. Now we're going for this. Now we're gonna go to filter, stylize, glowing edges, and play with the settings until you got glowing red. Okay, no, it's glowing edges. It must be in filter, filter gallery. Yep, stylize. And now we're at glowing edges. Okay, give me the settings for glowing edges. This is fair right okay i wasn't looking for a definition of what i'm supposed to be doing i'm just looking for some numbers to use length a value a value between 5 and 20 is that like just like the usual oh my okay dude all right so we're gonna play with it fine we'll play with it that's why they didn't let us do it okay so i landed with 9 10 and 9 all right now if i go into like liquefy i can't really kind of change that too much so that's fine the pattern is pretty much fine too and so is this i mean are we calling this done i'm gonna do the same thing i did before i'm gonna say add a few more steps to improve improve the design duplicate the text layer and apply a gradient map adjustment layer to the duplicated layer okay so like this gradient map adjustment layer oh, oh, oh jesus i mean I, I literally just took it i add the same as i gradient just with the different colors moved in and erased a little bit so we get a little something like this regardless okay if we're going to talk about this for a second should i just try to add something else just for my own sake so i couldn't really find anything too crazy but look at this i mean this this is kind of where i landed off with but regardless i made a duplicate of this then i added made a new layer right and i use filter filter gallery what is it called stroke at 14 3 11 pressed okay and i flipped through these blend modes for a second i said yo 
Darken is kind of sick. Lightning's kind of sick. That actually looks super, super dope with the black outline. Just like really, just, it kind of looks like a cartoonish in a way. But then Color Dodge, I mean, hey. Like, if we're being honest, this effect is actually pretty sick. If, if you're asking yourselves, is AI going to replace artists? I, I think I answered this before. I don't ever think so. I think it'll just be a tool that if you're not using, you're not going to like be progressing as fast as you possibly could be. But at this time right now, I don't think AI can actually help you with your text effects. This is probably the most coolest effect that we got with just like using as much information, giving them like a, a full on sequence. The second one, we just basically gave them like different kind of effects to use in specific. That came up really cool. And the worst one that we ended up up getting up with was like the actual first ever one where we didn't give it anything besides like create us something i hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today so some hq out you're not gonna keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking quarter guys later much love peace 2023 i promise you will be a prime year for us so if you're enjoying this video be sure to leave a like subscribe all that good stuff because they're gonna be coming in quick and fast and i'll let you guys know with all the ai stuff so if you're ever looking for like a, a ai photoshop person like this is gonna be me i'm gonna be on that because I feel like we all need to. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.